Today, the Mississippi Freedom Trail is honoring a man who they say stood for his right to an equal education. Clyde Kennard Washington was a man who wanted to be a student at USM back in the 1950s, but was denied admission twice. He was wrongly convicted of accessory to a burglary and sentenced to prison. Fox 23's Alyssa Cole has his story. Here at Southern Miss, a new Mississippi Freedom Trail marker serves as a symbol of honor for Clyde Kennard. It's an important event. You know, it's been said that if you refuse to study the past, you're doomed to repeat it. Clyde Kennard was a pioneer on a quest to desegregate higher education in Mississippi. His efforts to enroll twice at Mississippi Southern College, known as USM Today, in the 50s were obstructed by former college president William McCain. The Clyde Kennard story is so pivotal to the importance of enlightenment and education and it's his broad shoulders that we stand on today. Shortly after Kennard's second attempt to enroll at Mississippi Southern College, he was wrongly arrested and convicted of accessory to burglary and sentenced to prison. He was released from prison in 1963 to receive cancer treatment, but he later died after surgery on July 4th. There's no atonement for it, but we can do things which can point to Clyde Kennard as an important person in the history of this university. He was found innocent after he died, but before and after his death, 1960 civil rights leaders paid homage to his livelihood. In 1993, USM dedicated a building on campus to Kennard, and it is now known as the Student Services Building. Today, the Mississippi Freedom Trail memorializes Clyde Kennard in his legacy at Southern Miss in Hattiesburg. Because Hattiesburg is uh, a, a collision, uh, a beautiful collision of so many cultures back grounds, uh, mainly because of this university. And so if we can encourage, de develop and cultivate that diversity and cultivate the next gener generation of people who can take on issues on their own. The Mississippi Freedom Trail recognizes people, places and events that were associated with the civil rights movement. Back to you at the desk. All right, thank you. Former Governor Haley Barber issued a proclamation in 2006 declaring March 30th Clyde Kennard Day.